Hey everybody, my name is Blackjack, and welcome back to Crash Mind Over Mutants. Last time we beat the game. This time we get to look around and do some extra st stuff. Uh, so we're going to be coming back here every once in a while just to show off what we can. But for instance, what's inside this chest? Well, there are costumes that you can wear throughout the game. We have like Crash Greeny, where he wears green pants, or blue pants with different colored sneakers, or red pants with gray sneakers. But we can be getting some different costumes, and these costumes we'll be getting uh, at the end of the uh, bonus video. I'll show you how to do them. Do that real quick. Over here is the bestiary, pretty much. It tells you all the names of the villains, all the enemies that we're facing, the ratical, what upgrades you have on them, some uh, description of them pity. Of, of some kind, and you can just throw them all. It's pretty cool. <laughs> zero out of five. I really do not like playing this. It's really funny that I have zero on TK. So I like playing this TK. You only don't you don't play a Scorpio all too much, but all these mutants will be in new places, and you'll be finding them every once in a while as as you're just running around and seeing them quite a bit. Uh, snipes, spikes, yep. Uh, sludges. We, we've seen all these enemies before, but I just want to show off the mission and the descriptions. Uh, there's one description in particular mm, yummy. <laughs> for the um, for the costumes that like I can't believe got slipped through. And I'm sure there's probably Our more. I just have to read the ball. Circles. But yeah, they're all really fun. Yeah, I've got the plus right over here. Yep, slappy. Yeah, stench. Wow, that's such a long fucking sound effect. And of course, you have cortex. Ooh, yes, cool. you like that, don't you, Crash? Different. Uh, okay. Uh, over here we have concept art. This is what you get for doing the voodoo, for collecting voodoo dolls. Um, there are twelve packs in total. Uh, or actually, there aren't twelve packs, but you get some by continuing the game. So, at like twenty-five percent, you get a pack. At fifty percent, you get a pack. Seventy-five percent, you get another one. And at hundred percent, you get the final concept art. Uh, to 100% this game is kind of annoying. You have to not only collect every voodoo doll in the game, but you have to waste your time leveling up every thing in the game. So you'd have to play as Magmadon, get those five levels. Play as a TK, get those five levels. Play as a Scorpirilla, get those five levels. Find a Yuktopus, get five levels as a Yuktopus. Uh, it's kind of annoying. However, uh, there is something that can help with that and we're gonna be doing them really quickly. Uh, or I'm not, I mean, I could spend an entire video and show off each individual mini game, all 10 rounds of each five mini games, but they're all the same. Uh, there's two variants of mini games. There's one where you fight a bunch of enemies under a time limit, and then there's one where you have to survive a, time, uh, survive a, a bunch of enemies under a time limit. Um, so, you, you know, there's that. And they give you mutants, and you, you still level up. And then, honestly, the, the mutants themselves are pretty useful. Um, if you have one as a backup, you have an extra bar of health, that way you won't die. Um, I grew to appreciate the spike through this, um, personally. I think the spike helped out quite a bit. So that was the concept art. Um, this is every video in the game, so any different style animation, like the Matrix style, the Johnny Quest style, the South Park style, whatever. The Dragon Ball. Up here is a checklist. You check it, and it shows you what you're missing. Uh, it says there's 18... Up oh, there's also health upgrades. Yeah, okay, so the health upgrades are slightly different than the crash upgrades, even though they're the same. Um, but yeah. You can just drop down. Okay. And now that I showed off all of that uh, Crash Hut stuff, it's time for the meat and potatoes of this game, or rather of this video. So I'm going to show off some of the some of the things I found while recording for this video. Um, I'm not going to show off all the missing voodoo dolls just because I don't know where they all are. Um, so yeah. 
There's also cheat codes to this game, which is what I'm looking up right now, as well as a two-player mode, which I haven't shown off yet. I didn't mean to do that. So, uh, two-player mode, you get to play as Crash and Carbon Crash as two different people. I am playing by myself because I have no friends and no one loves me. <laughs> and uh, so, sorry about that, my, com my controller died, funny enough. <laughs> Uh, and just like that, we get to run around and play as Carbon Crash. Carbon Crash can do the same exact thing as regular Crash. He can spin, he gets the same upgrades as you, uh, he can even attack you. Uh, there is friendly fire on in this game, in this game mode, so if you and a buddy are trying to beat the final boss and you can just beat the shit out of each other, and that's what I'm going to show off right now, you can kill the opponent. Coco is not a playable character, so once you die, you have to wait a little bit for some odd reason, and you can join again. And what you can do is if you hold circle uh, with either main crash or carbon crash, you can turn yourself into a mask, and I'm doing a horrible job at this, but you can turn yourself into a mask. And this kind of acts like the Mario bubble in uh, Super Mario Bro new Super Mario Bros. Uh, Wii, I think it's Wii? And any game after we, um, where you can bubble and then like have a main character follow if you have like a hard time traversing a puzzle, and you can leave your partner behind. You don't have to be on the same screen. And what you can do is just turn into a mask and like zip right next to them. And the mask can even shoot chickens, much like any other ranged opponent, and it does damage. Uh, there are two player achievements to do in this game that are towards um sorry not achievements side missions that act towards the 100 percent so in order to 100 percent something you have to do the two player things as well the two player missions and we're just gonna let carbon crash mask over here just take out these slappies real quick the chickens bam 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 done so yeah, the chickens are pretty hilarious. <laughs> that about does it for the two-player mode. So we're just going to... Uh... Is there anything else that I want to show the two-player mode? I don't think so. As you can tell, I'm playing with one controller. <laughs> and then the other controller. <laughs> I want to see how far I can make it. That's funny. But um, you, you can mask as the first crash too, as like player one. Player one can also mask. You don't have to have carbon crash mask and then have the other crash not mask. So there's that. Um, I did want to look up the cheat codes real quick. There are a few. The cheat codes are far and few in between. Um, they're not really many to do. Uh, I'll have a link down in the description where, where I found the cheat codes. Uh, there are cheat codes for random body parts being enlarged. Every time I did it, I just got the head to be enlarged. It's like a big head mode. You have Shadow Crash, which makes Crash invisible. Uh, you do it all from the you do it all from the pause screen. Uh, you have some of the some of the you can like stack the cheat codes. So you can have uh, like freeze enemies when you touch them by like punching them. Um, Another cheat code is like enemies can drop a strawberry. Uh, I think one of them is the punch upgrade, the speed upgrade is another one. I don't know if they drop health, I don't remember. It could be health. So you can stack them. So like that was, I believe the strawberry one. Um, I couldn't get one of them to work and I don't know which one it was off the top of my head. But here's invisible crash. Nothing changes, enemies still attack them the same, at least to my knowledge. I was attacked. I was attacked with Shadow Crash on. So that's Shadow Crash. Um, but yeah, a lot of the cheat codes, they're not really worth it in this game. They're, I mean, unless you really need the help of like, hey, I'm, I, I want some times four damage and the constant speed. I want to keep running by killing all the enemies. I mean, I guess then that could help you out. Or like if you're doing the mini games and you need like, oh, I can't do this without killing this Yuktopus or whatever, times four will help. That kind of thing. I didn't really use the cheat codes after this short segment. There really isn't really much else to to show. Um, in terms of the cheat codes, these are the ones that I found. 
Uh, what else is there? No, I didn't do that. Yeah, this is the one I couldn't get to work. And I'm not sure which one this one is. I don't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, like, oh, here's big head mode. Oh, I have to turn off shadow for you guys to see clearly, I guess. Let me just do that real quick. There we go. Boop. Yeah, big head mode. It's like a random body part. That's what at least the cheat code description said it was. But I only got big head mode. I tried doing it a few times. I only got the big head mode. So yeah. What's that? <laughs> I I don't really have anything else to say on the cheat codes. So I kind of <laughs> without having them open like on me right now like I can't I can't really say anything else but yeah that's oh yeah and the big head mode didn't work the second time around that was weird it's like whatever let's try it again it didn't work all right maybe something was enlarged and I just didn't know I just couldn't see it yep yeah, it just stopped working after a while like I think this is the second cheat code or not the second cheat code. this is the other cheat code that I was telling you guys about that I just couldn't get to work for some reason I was doing it right, it just wouldn't work for me. But yeah, the, the, the actual meat and potatoes of this video is going to be the minigames. And there are five locations of minigames that you can find. Um, and uh, if you go into the side missions, you, it'll, it'll tell you where they, you can find them, but not like the specific locations of where they are. So we're going to start off with the one in Wumpa Island. Um, I think I'm trying to do another cheat code. Yeah, this probably is one of the ones that like the enemies drop items. And in order to do the cheat codes, by the way, you pause the game, hold R1, and then you do the the D-pad directions, whether it be like up, left, right, down, up, or left, left, right, up, down, or whatever it is. I'm not sure if those are actual cheat codes. I was just making up directions, but whatever. That's how you do them. Anyway, now to the mini games. So the mini games. The first mini game that we're going to be going to is the one on top of the Dominator. So this one is a defeat the amount of enemies within a certain amount of time limit. There are ten rounds for each mini game, totaling for fifty rounds in total. And each, uh, every time you complete ten rounds of a mini game, you get. Uh, suit you get one of the skins so for instance if after i want to show off the first round of every of every mini game just to let you guys un, like get the gist of what you have to do um, luckily for us we were given a grimly so we could just use the grimlies now the the mutants only count as being killed once they drop to the floor occasionally they'll drop a times four these are the Xenu that like kind of frustrate me, <laughs> but not until like the later rounds where they all attack you all at once. Uh, they're just kind of annoying. Other than that, uh, honestly, these mini games aren't so bad. I was kind of breezing through all of them except for level nine of mini game five and level ten of. Uh, I think it's minigame 3 or, or minigame 2. I don't know if it's minigame 3 or 2. The ice one. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up with when we get But yeah, I, only, I had difficulties with only two of them. Um, and I can't remember if the ice one is a survival one, which would be really funny if it was, because I had a difficult with the last one, which was also a survival one, if that's the case. But yeah, once we do level 10, which I'm just going to make a cut until it's level 10, until we beat it, we get a little thing and we get a crash skin unlock. So we did Rumble in the Jungle. Rumble in the Jungle unlocks, unlocks Snipe. Uh, and this is the skin for Snipe. So I'm going to be playing with these skins as I progress, as I unlock them. That's what it looks like, pretty much. <laughs> and now we're going to move on over to... Well, once this loading screen decides to load, I could have just cut this out, I guess. I don't know, whatever. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> or maybe I did, and I just don't know about it. I know I did. But yeah, this is the this is the suit. Uh, it doesn't give you anything extra. Like, it doesn't allow you to shoot anything. It's just a skin that you can wear. 
Um, it's the same thing. So over here, uh, we're going to shoot out these things. Funny enough, the stench can just shoot through the rock for whatever reason. I don't know why that is. But once you destroy all these targets over here, uh, you're going to get a platform, and I'm going to miss the platform. Okay. Let's try that one again. So once you destroy all the, the things, you're going to... Uh, fuck. I forgot I had a rider roller on me. Okay. Let's try that again. Once you destroy all the targets, you get to jump on this little platform, and you get a crash grab. Uh, that's number 12? Oh, yeah, that's number 12 for me, because I picked up the Ratsicle one by accident. So over here where we fought the snipes, we're going to be doing minigame number three. So yes, minigame two is the ice one. Minigame three is a... I believe it's another... Yeah, it's another one where you have to fight a group of enemies under a certain amount of time limit. Uh, the snipe will make this semi-easy. Actually, so will the ratsicle, and so will the spike. <laughs> uh, those are like the best options. Also, the sludge. If you get a sludge, the sludge is really nice. Because you could just do a gooey louie. Uh, the uppercut attack where you, you duck into the ground and press square and he like, punches up into the air. And if you combo it with the, the aerial double axe handle attack, that's a, a super strong way to take out enemies. So there's that. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Fighting TKs is a pain in the ass. Uh, I don't really have a tactic for them, just try your best. <laughs> If you if you if you if you got lucky like I did and and you only uh, uh, attack one and the other one didn't try and kill you, um, try and, and 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 do that more often. <laughs> but yeah, if you get caught by a TK, you can break out of it by like spinning and and spamming the punch button. But yeah, that's that's it. Uh, luckily for the TKs, they have, uh, or rather, rather, luckily for us, the TKs don't have that much defenses, so you could always just take them out. Um, TKs are useful though. You can always pick up an enemy and throw them. Here's the last enemy of the last round. We got Stand in the Sand. We unlock another Crash skin, and we unlock the Magmadon skin. This is the one I was I was mentioning. This this thing is really funny. It's it's a ribbed and bumpy for your gaming enjoyment. <laughs> I can't believe that one got through. <laughs> uh, I, I couldn't read that one, that was too funny. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to be playing as the Magmadon skin. This one's actually kind of funny looking. <laughs> just looks a little weird. And uh, yeah, we get to just run around with like a Mag Magnadon, Magmadon skin. So that's pretty cool. So the next one we're going to, I believe, is the one near the Ratskull Kingdom. Actually, uh, to be more specific, it's near that tower where we need a TK to climb up uh, near the Ratskull Kingdom. Remember that area? There, I remember really showing you. Oh yeah, uh, on the way there, by the way, I found a Ratskull hero uh, in near where we got the TK originally, like the first TK. And this is what he looks like. This is his, uh, he's white. Uh, his little icon has like a blue mohawk. And what I, I wanted to show off here is how I got the other um, crash grab, by the way. And so how to grab it is you move this block with a TK. Just tell him to fuck off. Hit this button, uh, run over here to the right hand side of this thing. There is a platform. And this actually should be my last one, even though we got the last one in Mount Grim Lake, technically, because I showed off where most of them are. But up here, there would be another uh, crash grab. The other one I'm missing is actually uh, going towards the, the evil school. So here is the minigame number two. This one is a survival minigame. Uh, we have to last two minutes and not die. Uh, Sometimes there are TNT boxes, sometimes there are tox boxes. I had a hard time with the last level, I think it was in this one. Because this one had uh, Scorporellos in it, if I'm not mistaken. And I got ganged up by a few Scorporellos. Uh, but honestly, it wasn't too bad. I, it didn't take me more than like two tries to beat that level once I, once I got used to it. It was like level 9 or level 10, something like that. Uh, but the only real time I had a hard time like multiple attempts at something was the uh, 
the last minigame, minigame five, where uh, you have to face, and we're gonna, we're gonna be uh, seeing a glimpse here, but we have to face two Ductopuses at the same time uh, in a survival game. That's kind of annoying to deal with. I mean, once you got a Yuktopus, it's easy because the Yuktopus is broken. But um, yeah, it's it's kind of a pain. Did say scratch an M and M? Did I hear that correctly? But yeah, you just have. To, there's no uh, kill the enemies like goal like there is in the other mini games. This one's just pure survival. You gotta last the whole two minutes. Um, if you can get a spike, stay with the spike. The spike is really useful. Um, spikes, spikes and obstacles, they're really good for these games, for these mini games. Um, they have a combo where you do three hits and a triangle and three squares, triangle. And that is a really broken. Yeah, that that attack right there is broken. If you can hit all four attacks, it's like an instant kill on all on all moves. Combo is like zero to hundred percent kill. But just like that, that is the uh, pretty much premise of minigame 2. And it repeats for 10 levels. And then yeah, here's... I had a, I had a kind of a hard time with this one. Well, you know, once you get a thing, you, once you get the script really, you get it. That one unlocks the Ratskull suit for you. <laughs> I like how Crash still wears pants. I find that really funny, that he still wears pants. It, like, he's wearing a full body suit, but he wears pants. Doesn't matter what skin it is, it could be the Spike one, it could be the Ratsicle one, it could be the Magmadon one. He's always wearing his blue pants. <laughs> Dude, you're wearing a full body skin suit. Like, what are you doing? So I saved there, you just get to run around. Uh, the next one's in the junkyard over here where we got that one crash grab. Or maybe it was a sludge, I don't remember if it was a crash grab or something. But we get to go to minigame four over here. And this is another, this is the last um, fight enemies until until the, until you win. Like you're timed to beat a bunch of enemies. Sludges are you're gonna are your go-to uh, enemies here as well as spikes, like I mentioned. Spike for their combo, uh, gooey uh, sludges for their gooey Louie uppercut, uh, double axe handle combo. You gotta be careful though, some of the enemies aren't affected by that combo, that gooey Louie thing. Um, like the battlers, for whatever reason, if you hit a battler with a gooey Louie, it doesn't send them straight up, it sends them skyrocketing, like forward, like they just they get launched forward for some odd reason. I can't really explain it. But yeah. This one has some TKs, this one has some sludges, some spikes, some stenches. Uh, no big enemies, I don't think. This doesn't have any large enemies, just standard thing. Damn, one spike attack fucking with the times four multipliers and instant kill. Jesus Christ, man. Wow. That should be all 13 enemies. Perfect. And when you defeat uh, minigame three, I had to I had to actually uh, do this again uh, because I didn't save because of what happened here. Uh, so I as, on my way back to get the skin, I ended up falling through the earth for some reason, and that apparently destroyed my game because I accidentally found this. I stumbled upon this area, and I was like, "Oh shit, what's over here?" Uh, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the mic there, my bad. Um, yeah, I, I was like, oh, what's over here? So Rat Skull can go up here. And if you if you have a Rhino Roller, just like I just so happen to have, uh, you can fail miserably at trying to jump on this thing over here. No, jump on that thing over there. Uh, I guess you need a Rat Skull and a Rhino Roller technically, but you could just do it like that. You only really need the Rhino Roller because Crash can make this jump very easily. But this is what happened, um, essentially. I, I got curious on to see what, what's up here. It's just a level up. Um, I thought maybe there was like a hidden Crash Grab or something. It was something I was missing. Man, I, I failed at this horribly, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry for the suckage, Jesus. All right, there we go. So now we can just hop on here and uh, there's like this giant circle thing, as you can see. 
and uh, this one's kind of tricky because you have to stop. So the way I did it was, um, oh yeah, and I crashed the game. That's what happened. So I crashed the game, and I didn't save, so I had to redo minigame 30 a second time. So I had to like do 60 fucking levels. So I just skipped that and went to, to Mount Grimly for the last minigame. We'll, 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 we'll see what the other one is. Um, there's just a level up there. The way I got that is I, I just held left when going counterclockwise, and then I hit. I was holding R1 until I got into that inner circle, and then I just turned to crash, spin, jump my way up there, and then like on top of the circle, and then uh, I, I did the chimney climb up. So minigame five is another survival thing. Uh, this one is kind of difficult towards the end. Level nine particularly was very difficult for some reason. Uh, I got stuck on that a few times. But yeah, it, it's just survival, you know. Attack enemies. Uh, I don't like the battlers for this mini, for this for this game in particular. The battlers are kind of annoying. I, I like to stick with the Grimleys. Uh, and then when you get the octopuses, you know, stick with the octopus as well. That's all there is. Oh, I leveled up the Grimlin. That's cool. Ah, plus strength up. That'll actually be kind of useful. Because now I can just keep attacking. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Uh, I know it just seems like there's a bunch of tox boxes, as I call them, out here. But sometimes there's, like, TNTs that appear. The Xenu are really annoying in this level, honestly. They're, they're really annoying. There'll, there'll be, like, four or five of them. And then they'll all attack you at the same time. And that will lower your, your multiplier. <laughs> Which is kind of annoying. That's all it is, it's just annoying. <laughs> Alright, and just like that, we beat the last minigame. And uh, I think this is the coolest skin once you beat it. Uh, by the way, this one's near Uka Uka. Uh, you just talk to Uka Uka. Talk and you'll, you'll be able to do it. Uh, as you can see, you got a Yuktopus. The Yuktopus is broken as shit, because even against other Yuktopus, all you have to do is press triangle to stun them and then hit them, and they'll die in one hit. Uh, that one gets you a skeleton costume, which is awesome. <laughs> Classic crash left in a microwave. That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, you get to like walk around. He still has like the mohawk, so you, you can't see like his skull fully. I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I had to redo that. And then I, uh, oh yeah, this is how I did it. You, uh, you have to hold left while, sorry about that, I had to drop my phone. You have to hold left in order to get in here. And then once you're in here, you change the crash. And you have to like spin jump your way up here on this little edge right here. Double jumping isn't high enough. You have to actually spin jump. I couldn't get it um, by not doing it. Or you can just turn into the rhino roller and I guess use that jump to get up there. But like I'm afraid of the rhino roller because I'll just roll off the edge and have to get back in here. Yeah, uh, remember that you don't move if you use the right analog stick to spin. So if you're worried about like walking off the edge like that, uh, just use the right analog stick to spin. And then, uh, yep, there's just a little golden lump of fruit up here. That's all there is. Anyway, defeating the sludge minigame gets you the spike suit. And the spike suit uh, has a 80s hairstyle, like a mullet-like thing. That's pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, that about does it for everything, I think. I don't think there's anything else for me to talk about. So we're done. Yeah, that was Crash Mind Over Mutants. <laughs> oh, uh, I guess actually since I got 50%, I did get more artwork, did I not? Did I, did I show anything else off? I'm almost positive I I mean, we still have a few minutes left. Yeah, I think we did. So we got some more artwork to show off. Uh, let me see which ones are... I don't know. I don't remember which ones are the ones I, I, I showed. So I guess I'll show off the ones I don't remember showing off. I definitely didn't show off the ice pack. Or maybe I did. I think that's the one you get for the freezer burn. I don't remember that. Oh, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. 
if, if we saw, so, oh well, if we didn't, it, I'd cover my bases. I think we saw the junkyard one. That's the, the don't recycle. Wumper pack, this is the 25%. No, is it? Yeah, we, we, saw, we saw this one already. But with 50, you got the quarter, the quarter. Thank <laughs> you! Excuse me. Cut that out. Um, but the 25% uh, you get this one. And then uh, uh, we have halfway through, so we have the midway pack, which is something that we didn't show off. Yep, there we go. That's a really cool, like, behind the scenes look. <laughs> you have, like, all the different looking things. Yeah, so that's all the artwork, guys. That's everything I wanted to show off or anything that I could show off without actually wasting my time leveling up all the stupid things. <laughs> but yeah, that's everything. I don't know why I walked in here. That was I don't I don't know why I did that. That was my mistake. <laughs> I think I was like, oh, what's over here? <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, we saw all this already. But yeah, that about does it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I mean, it's kind of been a blast. I'll see you guys for the review. Uh, that should be coming out shortly. I still haven't been working on it, but by the time this video goes up, I'm sure it'll be done. Uh, next up for the channel is Mafia 1, because I've been dying to get back into that game. And it, it feels like my first playthrough was in January, was, was Mafia, and I feel like the next January playthrough will be Mafia. Actually, it's going to be February, because... By the time this game comes out, I'll have them all set up. But yeah, whatever. Mafia is the next playthrough. Um, Mafia 1. So that's going to be fun. Uh, my thoughts on this game is that uh, it's kind of mediocre. I mean, I liked it I, just because of the humor. I found the humor funny. But everything else is kind of bland, except for the visuals. I think the visuals are nice. Uh, like the environment visuals, at least, were nice. The models, not so much. Um, the story was okay, it's kind of unique, you know, Cortex betraying people, that's uh, pretty new. But other than that, I, everything else was okay, so I'd get, it was pretty mediocre. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys for the review. Peace.